What's going on everybody? Resale Rabbit here. I am in beautiful Port Washington, Wisconsin. This is probably my favorite part of Wisconsin. I love this place. It's just north of Milwaukee. It's about 90 miles south of my house in Green Bay. So we've got a storage unit to clear out and it looks like a good one. Tim bought this. I'm trying to convince him to let me buy out half, but it's got all sorts of medical equipment and a robot supposedly that's worth two million when it was new i don't know what it's worth now but when it was new it was a two million dollar surgical robot i can't wait to see it but for a minute i'm just gonna wander around and check out the sites here in beautiful port washington I think that's Tim, way up in the distance. He left like an hour before I did. Eat my shorts, Tim! I had to stop at Goodwill and buy some stuff, so he probably beat me here. And it looks like he may have already started unloading. All right, so here's the unit. Tim paid 3,700 something, and with, with the buyer's fee, it was, what, like 42, 4,300? Yeah, 200 bucks for the truck. 200 bucks for the truck. $50 the... for a, a missing a day of work, because John pays me less than minimum wage. I wish I only paid you $50 a day. Technically, you admitted it on camera, so that is an acceptance offer right there. <laughs> we got some medical equipment in here. This stuff looks fancy. And then, is this one the surgical robot? Yes, that is the surgical this, robot. We're going to turn it into a, the world's most expensive battle bot. The world's most expensive battle bot. It's apparently a $2 million surgical robot. We'll see if it's worth $2 million now. At least it's unlocked. You can get inside. That must be where you put the cash in. Uh, what else do we got in here? What We've got... One knee surgery, yeah, it's gonna be, uh, you need to put $42,000 in here. <laughs> in tens. In tens. Uh, let's see, we've got, uh, ooh, a lathe. Uh, let's see, DeWalt bag here with extension cords. I bet there's some good stuff in there. We'll go through that in a little bit. A little workbench or table with some tools. Looks like some sort of microscope. There's this Schlag hand punch. So it looks like it's a time clock where you, you put your hand on there to clock in. Um, we've got a PS3 over here, label maker, whole bunch of like random little stuff like this is probably gonna be really good on eBay. Uh, ooh, I bet these are good. XD power, or XP power. I think it'll be very easy to make money back on this unit. I used to sell these all the time, oh, about 30 bucks or so on eBay each. There's what, 10 of them in there. So much just random stuff in here. What do we have here? Just cases for something. We got a gaming PC right here. That looks pretty fancy. We've got a thing. I don't know what that is. We got a neon laser. This is the type of stuff that could easily be thousands of dollars on eBay. So many cases, I can't wait to dig through them all. 
And over here, we got a big organizer full of stuff. Eh, these are always good on eBay. I don't know what this thing is, but it looks fancy. I don't know what most of this stuff is, but it looks fancy. These look pretty high-end calipers. What'd you find? Color I-7000A listed for five grand on eBay. Where is it down there? That thing. 5,000, so that'll pay for the unit. The rest is just profit. These are kind of cool, actually. Plus these. I'm kind of neat. I have very weak signal strength, but these are 80 bucks each. I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. At least seven of them here. Can't. No cookies for you. I don't need any cookies, but you like cookies. You could try to eat those. They might taste good. Get some iron in your system. I'd let you put that on YouTube, watching me. These are brand new, whatever they are. Uh, uh, acrylic covers for something. What do we got here? A Iwaki motor. Looks brand new. So Tim was originally going to get a truck without a lift gate, and I convinced him to get one with a lift gate. Uh, because I figured this was going to be really heavy and we just tried to lift it and we could not even not even move the thing. Thankfully, it's on wheels. Um, it does not lift at all. I bet this is 500 pounds at least. So we're thinking this is probably the weight, 845 pounds. And there's another one there. This thing has some weight to it. How heavy is that one? This is the type of treatment that I need. Red carpet. Why isn't there a red carpet on here? Take your shorts off. Put them on there. <laughs> I am wearing red shorts. Ready? Tire. Ah. All right, so let's start with these cases. These mysterious. Oh, that's got some weight to it. And that looks like junk. You never know, there might be some value in that. Uh, what about this one? Delta Shopmaster. A terrible drill. That's two dollars. And this one. Permachem Regents. For laboratory use only. Oh, there's stuff under it. Oh, this could have some value. Kirk pipes. <laughs> I don't think that's its intended use, but I feel like it probably works the same. And you got this fancy case. We can figure out how to get it back in here. To ship it in, so it's not going to be damaged. Alright, we got this little case here. This is, oh, it's a camera. Digital camera, some stuff. I don't know what this is. This could be something. It's like an eyepiece to something. Maybe, oh yeah. I bet that's expensive on eBay. There's two of them in there, three of them in there. Yeah, and when the Star Wars movie came out, there's a handle that goes to a flash for a camera that looks like this, and that's actually what they use to make lightsabers with. So if you find one of those, they're usually a few hundred bucks on eBay. And a credit card reader. Now you can charge people for their knee surgeries. Cool. So we got this uh, roadie case or something. Maybe it's got an amp in it. It's not opening. There we go. Whoa. Oh, this looks fancy. Uh, a and F machines. I have no idea what this is. Some sort of mixer, maybe? I mean, these jars are usually decent money on eBay as it is. Pyrex, um, like chemistry jars. I don't know what they're called, but they have a name. So I can't see the price on eBay, but one of these sold without the glass, just the mixer. Um, they, they took an offer, so I can't see the price, but the offer was from 4,400 bucks. So I'm sure this is at least worth two or 3,000. All right, next we've got this one. 
covered with tape. The zipper's broken, that's why they covered it with tape. All right, I got the tape off, I saw this. That tells me nothing. It is stuff. Oh, here's an Intel solid state hard drive, 80 gig. I bet that's 40, 50 bucks on eBay. See if you can find with Google Lens stuff like this. You never know. It could be 20, 30 bucks, something like that. So much of this. Oh, here's another hard drive. So much of this is a mystery. That might be worth some decent money. Oh, it's a probe. You ready to get, get away, probed? Get away from me with that probe. <laughs> and then we got this little box in it with, oh, a whole bunch of hard drives. I bet you got three, 400 bucks just in hard drives here. screwdriver that's missing the battery cover that's the best thing we found so far. this is the best thing we found so far what about the mcdonald's sweet and sour sauce that was pretty good too that that i think was the best thing we found so far all right looks like we got two more cases here this one looks like a clarinet that's probably not what it is this one oh more glass i have no idea what this thing is So it's a distilling unit. My brief eBay search didn't come up with anything, but I'm sure this is worth something. All right, last case here. Move some of this stuff around. Oh, this has some weight to it. And I don't think it's a case. What the heck is this? Thermo Electron Corporation. So this is a Thermo Fisher automatic scrap monitoring, si monitoring system. I have no idea what that means, but it's it's heavy. Find something good in here? I don't know. Found uh, vacuum. Electric shock could occur. Ooh. It kind of looks like a vacuum. That sounds fun though. And. Oh. Peg for a bike. Probably not. 999 price tag on it. Oh, score. Hmm. Just whole size and old tools. Interesting. Is there a three and one eighth inch hole saw in there? That's what I need. I've never seen anything like that. That is an interesting one. Japan. This is like hmm. a funky Japanese woodworking holes. Globe Master 60510. Anybody ever see hole saws like this? It looks like a shark's teeth. Oh, they've got so many rows. So I looked this up right here. Just this one little piece here is 200 bucks. I don't know what any of this other stuff is. So this one will probably be pieced out on eBay, but 200 bucks just for that little box. Hello. I used to sell these flip cameras all the time. They were like a hundred bucks on Amazon. It's probably not worth near that now. And that is some sort of heater. Sort of heater. Space heater, maybe. Yeah. yeah maybe we want this for our registers. Oh. I, it wouldn't be compatible for our registers, but those are usually at least a hundred bucks on eBay. Mm. So this thing uh, this recently sold the credit card payment that comes through for your knee surgery. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is eleven hundred and fifty bucks recently sold on eBay, and this is seven hundred on eBay, also recently sold. Uh, what do you got here? Genesis Two must be a Sega. Just a whole bunch of random stuff in here. I guess this is probably worth something. <laughs> I don't know what any of this stuff is. I'm totally out of my element. 
Allen Bradley, that's a really good brand. And this is brand new, factory sealed. So, square covered cherry wood box. Oh! oh. Could have done the, um, the pretty woman thing. <laughs> Grimm's Fairy Tales. Oh, that's neat. And a sterling silver bell. Silver bell. <laughs> With a $25 price tag. That seems cheap for sterling. Although that could be an old tag, too. Scissors. Kind of neat, I guess. Hmm. I think this is for uh, yarn. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. That's the word for it. Knitting. Knitting. Inside of this Fry Daddy, we found sealed copy of Windows 10 Pro. So I just looked this up. It's about 150 bucks. There's a whole box of them. So I couldn't find any solds on this, but active, they are like 60 bucks used. And there's got to be maybe 50 brand new ones here. So we've got this Rhino uh, label maker that's about 75 bucks on eBay. Two of these in here, soldering stations. These are about 75 bucks. And this cool Super Bowl 27 bag. I bet that's worth 30 bucks on eBay too. We got this factory sealed, only 20 bucks on eBay. This MSI, I think this is a video card. I looked it up, surprisingly cheap, only like 30 bucks. So I couldn't find this on eBay, but we've got five of them brand new. Similar ones with this brand, quite the range, like 30 bucks to 300 bucks. So these could be really good or really bad. So I'm looking in this box and I already see some exciting stuff. We've got an iPhone. Oh, I thought these were tablets. An LG phone, a Galaxy, another iPhone, a Galaxy. They're in nice shape, but they're older. Probably 20, 30 bucks each, and they'll probably sell instantly. What is this? A pH meter. I bet that's some decent money. Yeah, uh, just a charger for a phone. What do we got here? Ooh. That might be interesting. Whatever Ooh. this thing is, it's big. Clean her. That's a very it's tall box. A Four and a half foot box. That is all glass. That is the biggest crack pipe I've ever seen. Huh. This plastic goes all the way down. I'm guessing it's just like a jar all the way down and it's got this on top. What it's for, I have no idea. Uh, Ace Glass Incorporated. Uh, I couldn't tell you. Here we go. To... I told you to bring a dolly. You told me to bring a dolly, and I went through the checklist twice, and I didn't bring it. <sighs> well, guys have fun lifting that. Oh, it's not that heavy, I guess. Uh, we got a zebra barcode scanner here. It looks like two. Oh, a whole bunch of them. I bet these are at least a hundred bucks each. Uh, I saw a camera lens here. Wow, that is an interesting filter on there. I've never even seen a filter like that. This is a heliopan. Never heard of that. This probably goes on some piece of equipment. So that could be some, some value there as well. I want to look these up. I guess I should have just said that on camera. Uh, a lot of four of these are about 150 bucks, so probably 200, 300 bucks here. Not as valuable as I thought, but still decent. All right, portable sampler. Uh, it's just the box. There you go, computer. Uh, one of those, these have a word. I don't know what they're called something station or something like that. Some sterile equipment here. Inflation device, probably expired. Yeah. And a whole bunch of phone bricks. 
got another case here. More just random stuff. This is a very serious heatsink. And whatever these are, I bet these are worth something. But I bet it's going to be a pain to try and look them up. And copper. All right, let's see what we got in here. Oh, oh. This. This might be something. A whole bunch of these. It says thermal printer. Ooh. There's 50 of them in here. They don't feel empty. Well, that was disappointing. No sales. The listed ones are $12.99 free shipping. So a whole bunch of thermal printers that aren't worth anything. Maybe if he sold the whole box as one lot here, maybe he'd get like a hundred bucks for it. Oh, that is a really big box. There might be a hundred of them in there. Maybe two or three big lots. Tim said he found a PS4 in here. There it is. So you got a PS3 and a PS4. Just need to find the PS5 and the PS6. You would be more excited to find a PS1 over the PS3 and 4? Yeah, I think so, because I, I have a PS4. PS1s are like 15 bucks. Oh, really? Yeah, they're super cheap. Oh, never mind. PS4 it is. PS4 it is. Ooh, is that games? No. More. Looks like speakers, computer parts, probably some value in there. What's in here? Syringe driven filler units. Uh, this thing and a nice jug and key rings. What do we got here? It's just some tools, a VR, and another iPhone. There's so many phones in here. Um, hey, did you throw away that Blu ray player cover? No, I kept it. Good, because I found the Blu ray player. Ooh, these could be good. Oh, feels empty. Yeah, these are all empty, but not that one. This is, I don't know what this is. Any idea? I don't have a knife on me. Can't claw through the tape. There we go. That's not very helpful. It's the same box on the inside. More iPhones here. All iPhone 4. Oh, this could be something good. All this little stuff. I'm not gonna look up every little thing because I'd be here all day and all night. I wanna know what this is though. If I can figure out how to open this. All right, it is. Oh, wait. That's kinda neat. Calibration weights, 200 grams down to one gram. And then even milligrams down here. I like that, that's kind of neat. We got a Creative Zen here. I haven't seen one of these in ages. And it's, they're kind of neat. It's kind of a unique media player. Hey guys, I have an idea. Polycom. I don't know. Could be valuable. S H E A dash C R. Right, we got another mysterious box. A lot of these have just had like parts in them though so far. Ooh. I don't know what this is. Some kind of torque wrench maybe? I bet this is like a torque wrench. 250 pounds it says on the side. Oh. We got two of those. We got, oh, this is heavy. Whatever this thing is. What did you find? Oh, vintage. 
Those are cool. Those should be good on eBay. Field bus device. I mean, it looks like the case for a radio, but that's not what's in it. So no solds on these, but they're listed at 250. And I'm not even gonna look that up. Whatever this is, it's heavy. Got a big DeWalt box here. And in it is a couple of saws and some junk. Hose spigot. Not as exciting as I was expecting. Circular saw and a reciprocating saw, but they're the old 18 volt ones. Got an old iPod here. It's not the original, but it's an old one. This thing would be really fun wrapping paper for Christmas. Uh, this is all over the place. One sold. For twenty three hundred, then three hundred, then seven fifty, then forty one, nineteen seventy, three hundred and twenty. So somewhere between one dollar and a billion dollars for this thing. No souls, but this futuristic looking tablet uh, is listed at seven hundred bucks, six ninety nine. And this looks. I feel like the the next global pandemic will come out of this thing. Oh, biohazard. Should I open this? We'll get COVID-23. It has a big biohazard sticker on it. It's like a big steel cistern. Kind of reminds me of Joe Dirt when he's got the big bomb strapped to it. Yeah. Just an old crapper tank. I bet this is worth something. The biohazard tank? Yeah. You can sell it to uh, someone who wants to release a virus. So All right, we got a file cabinet. Normally, there's always good stuff in file cabinets, but this is a weird storage unit. Uh, we've got whatever these are, but those are probably something on eBay. We've got a mirror for a bike, I guess. With a compass. Oh, another iPod. Another iPhone. And what in the world is this? Solid gold breakfast cereal. Like six leaves. Did you go to the box at all? No, I didn't. Milwaukee, probably a screwdriver. Uh, what else is in here? Looks like just random stuff. More random stuff. And the worst tasting breakfast cereal I've ever had. And cordless refillable butane gas powered soldering tool kit. So this thing is 700 on eBay. Uh, there are a whole bunch sold. You can stick your finger in there and then push the wrench button and it does something. So all of these white boxes are 2,500 bucks on eBay, but they're expired. Um, the hourglass, that usually means the expiration date for medical like stuff. So I don't know if these were they are for ultrasounds. I don't know if they can still be sold. Uh, well, this one, uh, this one expired in 2020. Could have some value, could be worthless. That lip, laugh, love. No, bag of video games. Oh. Uh, some Super Nintendo games here. Uh, hockey, lame, and Super Battle Tank oh, 2. Dude, give me that one. Yes! I love these games. Mostly sports games. Nothing too exciting in here. What about Bass Tournament of Champions? 
I can't imagine fishing games are worth a lot, maybe 10 bucks. So we saw this in the picture, and I guess it was a camcorder. Yep, VHS reporter. Definitely a camcorder. Uh, a camcorder box. Ooh. That looks like a good camera. Two cameras, another iPod, USS Enterprise light up Christmas ornament, flashlight, security camera, Porsche design. I don't know what this is. Hard drive, maybe? Another two iPods. We got this one. And another one down there. Here's a third iPod. Oh, all right, we got another one right here. This has some weight to it. I'm going to guess projector. And it is not a projector. Amtector Tester. Whoa, that's cool. Yeah. No solds, but two listed for a thousand bucks each. So with this unit, Tam had actually bid it up to like $9,000 plus the buyer's premium of 15%. So over $10,000. Um, and then there was another storage unit by the same person that he bid up to like 4,000. He got outbid on both. Uh, the deal was him and I were going to partner on it because it's a lot of money for one person to invest. So he's the one who found it. He was the one bidding. Um, he ended up losing out on both of them. And the company called him and said, yeah, the person's card was declined. Do you want this unit? And they were going to sell it to him for his bid of like well, just under 9000 And I told him, go in and look at what your bid was. And his high bid before the winner came in was like 3500 3700 something like that so i said tell them you'll take it but it's got to be at that 3700 if you remove all of that other person's bids that's what his high bid would be and they did it well he just got a phone call from them the other unit which was a different buyer um they backed out so there might be a second unit here Expensive. That does look very expensive. Kurt, Kurt Wesker. The box says the same thing. It doesn't say what it, it says. It says for, destroy. It says for Gile. Let's see. You can Dow, cook your bacon with it. Dow Agerson. So this thing, look at this. Uh, 1100 1600 Offer from 20 That one sold for 10 grand 4,000 I can't tell if it's new or if it was just put in this bag that'll be a good one though so we got these bins uh, I don't know what that is doesn't look like anything too special in this one and now this one has some weight to it Oh, oh, these are all lenses for something. And what's underneath? Brand new Klein screwdriver. And this stuff. That might be something of value. But this, I think, is going to be really good right here. These seem to be about 80 to 150. We got three of them in here. Uh, let's see what's in here. I think this is a docking station, maybe. There's a whole bunch of them. There's probably some value in those. I bet those are 20 to 50 bucks each. This box uh, looks like just parts. 
parts for something. And this, ooh, ooh, PS4 controllers. We got a camcorder. This is a hundred bucks right here. Another PS4 controller. This should be some decent money. It's a computer, very fancy computer, Sony. I heard digital portable x-ray. These are Panasonic Tough Books. Mm. They're you know, 150 that. bucks each. Yeah. Um, and then this over here is, don't hurt yourself, is about five to 600 bucks on eBay. It looks almost like something for, for like audio. I don't know, but it looks fancy. So this looks like a fancy box. Let's see what's in it. Circuit board. Uh, oh, gross. A label maker. Uh, some hardware. Ooh, this looks fancy. Probably for like a welding mask or something. Everything is all gross. I think it's from this stuff. Yeah, this is all sticky and eating away. This Hitachi thing is a portable ultrasound worth about 500 bucks. Yeah, this case seemed really heavy, but it's just a little lighter. No. Yes. No. If you want my help, you have to listen to my jokes. All right, I got another one here. How's the song go? Do you look like a lighty. It is a battery charger for Sonolog Acoustic Well Sounder. Oh, and it stinks. It smells like a well. Roper Whitney hand punch. Not gonna show him what it is? Oh, sorry. Looks fancy. Yeah. Just That's five dollars bill. Alright, we got a fancy case here. It's not super heavy, but I don't think it's empty. It is, in fact, empty. So we got a whole box of these power modules listed for 158, no solds though. Leak scanner 69464. Hmm. I think it's got like a black. See if you have any leaks. So we got a wooden box here. Looks like something a projector would be in. And it is just a whole bunch of stuff. This may have originally been a projector box. I'm sure that's worth something. Oh, we got another tech item down there. We got, oh, oh, here we go. $9.99 free shipping. This is boxes within a box, and that's inside of a box. Oh, some sort of paper. So this case looks like the case that the nuclear launch codes would be in. The football. We got a broken Chromebook. All right, here we go. Nuclear launch codes. And it, ooh, it is empty. But it was a fancy case for something. It's got Q-tips in it. That's what they call this thing. Neurological programmer. <laughs> yep. I don't think that fits in this box. Tim just brought me these two boxes here to look at. So we've got an insulation tester and a gas analyzer. So 300 to 750 for this. And it looks like there's a second one here. Now let's look at the gas analyzer. 
and the gas analyzer, about 45 bucks. So what we're doing is we're just palletizing on the ground and wheeling them up here. Makes it super easy to get them on the truck and off the truck. I wish the stuff would stack better so we could use the full height though. Maybe next time, uh, if there's a unit this big, we'll just get Gaylords or something. Do that. What's up, YouTube? So I can't find this thing, but apparently there are like 30 of them. Anybody know what this is? I'll let you do the homework for me. So these are actually a whole bunch of kidney stones from people who have a high iron diet. Seems weird that they would store that. Um, and then we have like a James Bond style case back here. Right, which one do I need to look in? Well, you can't see in it, but there's a... Oh, yeah. But there's something good in there. You opened it without being on camera. Open it again. They're like, uh, they're just pumps to pump out fluid. They're probably not even, like, worth selling. Hmm. You never know. So we are all loaded up, just about filled the truck. There's a little bit of space left. I'm still trying to convince him to uh, split this unit with me because I would like to have half of this. Uh, but anyways, he did end up buying the second unit today and it looks like this. So you're gonna have to wait for the next video. Join me probably later this week where we go through this one.